But to me, this one is much more surprising because the more ta- take nothing away from Damon Stoddard no, Georgia no, Tech, great on. win, but they're more talented. They're not, it's like they're going to Georgia Tech and the place is going to be sold out in an unbelievable environment. <laughs> like you got, you know, this one's more alarming to me. What's well, funny? You, How you did look Georgia at Georgia Tech catch a stray right there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it just you know it's not going to be a great environment it's when you not. walk into that building. Right, right, right. You're right. I, I, you're right. No, I'm giving yeah. you credit. That was finally yeah. not coach yeah. speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I think when you look at the difference between Kentucky's freshman class and Duke's, and Duke, I think, you know, was right there. It's like 1A and 1B, right? Mm-hmm. Kentucky's was proclaimed as the greatest class in the history of college basketball, which was ridiculous. But, again, there's a, there's a big difference right now. Like, if, you, if you're looking at those two classes, you're like, I, I'm taking Kentucky's all day long. And we haven't even seen Aaron Bradshaw yet because of Reed Shepard and, and Dillingham. They're both impact guys. Haven't really seen a lot of that from Duke's freshman class right now, right? Sean Stewart doesn't really play. My boy T.J. Power starting to play a little bit. But the two guards, McCain and Foster, have kind of been like, okay, Foster had his game. Obviously, we know in Chicago he had his one game. Other than that, hasn't done a whole lot. Well, McCain's we, been we knew, pretty good. We knew as soon as he went off in the Champions Classic, we were never going to hear from him. Yeah, <laughs> because that happens. <laughs> That's what happens in That's the Champions happens Classic. People. You know, so I, I guess with Duke, it's, okay, they lost Proctor tonight after one minute. But honestly, is that such a big loss with the way Proctor has been playing? No. Not no. when you have Jeremy right. Roach, senior, right. all-league caliber guy. Not when you have Jared McCain. Not when you – well, it shouldn't. I'm just saying the way he's played, it's not mm-hmm. as big a loss, mm-hmm. right? You should be able to, to maybe withstand it. And then the other thing is, like, Filipowski's not, got no help up, up front. Who else is scoring? Who else is rim protection? There's none. Like, this team is a little bit – now, every team's a little bit flawed. Mm-hmm. But you look at them and you say, like, what do they miss? All right, like, they miss a rim, They miss Derek Lively. That's who they miss because they started Ryan Young alongside Filipowski tonight. Ryan Young should not be starting for a team that we're talking about winning a national title. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to Ryan Young. You're a great backup. Mark Mitchell in the second half, Duke – comes all the way back. They're down by double digits. It's tied at 62. Mark Mitchell gets an emphatic dunk on somebody with about three minutes left in the game. Next possession uh, comes down, um, gets another dunk, right, on someone's head. I think there's two minutes and 13 seconds left. He's running back on defense. He's flexing, he's screaming, and he hits the guy with a point. Gets teed up. Two free throws from Georgia Tech. They come down. They get a bucket. I know you haven't seen the play, but is that something where – like, are you mad at Mark Mitchell? Are you mad at the officials? Like, how do you – I mean, it's the, the – he gave the him the yelling at the officials. He gave him the point. I, I just – it drives me nuts, the rules, or we, we're trying to take emotion and passion. I get when you're being flat-out disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Or you bump into right. someone. Or, like – Or you stand over him. you stand and, over right, him and you're right. taunting him yeah. and you're pointing yeah. in his face. But to give a technical foul – to someone that's playing with passion and emotion in a tight game when it means something, I think it's Ridiculous. completely horseshit. It I, I think it's horseshit. I'm not mad at my player at all. Yeah. I'm high-fiving him for playing with passion and emotion in an important game for our team and our program. I, I can't stand it. Trying to give out technical fouls for playing hard. It's college and basketball, showing it. That's too. college basketball. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That's college, what we want. That's what we want. Like, think about like the old NBA. There used to be fights. I know. I know. And we used to, used to everybody be excited, and it's entertaining. Like, I'm not saying to swing, Like, what was the best part tonight? Watching Vlad Golden, right? Mm-hmm. How, emo- how much emotion did that kid They could have given him a technical tonight. foul. Yeah, probably. Because it's the same right. thing. Now, yep. did he point it at him? No, but he flexed. Yes. They could have given him a tech. And I just think it's take trying to, to, you know, take that piece of the game away. Well, here's, here's I the just, one. Here's I, the I other think one I it's wrong. I think it's wrong. Here's the other one I got for you. Anytime, anybody, doesn't matter who it is, Brian Greenlee did it about four times tonight. They score in the paint. They go through somebody. They give them the you're too small <laughs> celebration, right? I'm not a big fan I, of what, that one. I know, but, at what, <laughs> but at what point At what point is that going to start getting called? It's like, going to be a tech. What's the difference That's between a tech. going right. like this, right. looking at someone and doing this, right. and going like that after you dunk on someone's head? There, there is or, no difference. Or on the head. Yeah, or like, that, like why, why is this I, stuff? You know why? Because that, that referee might have, you know, been, been working in L.A. the night before, and, you know, tonight he's yeah, in, there's just, he's it, in it, Boca or it's something. It's inconsistent, like, too. They need, it's inconsistent. Yeah, I just – look, I, I, I understand what the rules are. This isn't the NCAA tournament, right? You're not being evaluated on every single call that you make. Totally. You and even if to, you are evaluated, like, that's something that honestly from the top – 
should be uh, just it should be loosened. And, and look, here's here's the other thing. When we make points like this, I think what we've seen with the charge rule this year and how that's been changed. Do you know how much better college oh, basketball so has been better. when you don't have six times a game somebody standing in front of someone falling over and getting a whistle? <laughs> It, it makes how many times? How many times have we seen this I, this year? I don't think I've seen an it live. offensive foul. Have you seen one live? I, we have not. Look, we I, have not. Honest, honest, there's there's ones where someone drives and lowers their shoulder and pushes someone, and they're still but, like but the slot back, the slot down, the post, yeah. like, second you know, hit. 